A U.S. District Court judge has ruled against Senator Lindsey Graham and his efforts to avoid testimony in front of a Georgia grand jury. The Fulton County DA has subpoenaed him in her investigation into former President Trump's attempts to overturn his election loss in that state. Graham now saying that his lawyers are reviewing it and saying over the weekend that he will go as far as he needs to go and do whatever needs to be done to make sure that people like him can do their jobs without fear of some county prosecutor coming after you. Those are Graham's words. That's what's radical here is we've taken a single company you brought people making accusations. There's a legal system in this country to complain about unfair labor practices. But what you've done here today is you've tried and convicted Amazon. Mr. Smalls, have you filed a complaint when you thought you were wrong? Have I? Yes. The Attorney General of the State of New York has on my behalf. Okay, but, but you had a process where somebody could advocate for your interest. There is a process that's not working. Okay, well, that's your opinion. Now, that's a we'll, fact. We'll... And you should listen because we do represent your constituents as well. Um, so just take that into consideration that the people are the ones that make these corporations go. It's not the, it's not the other way around. Could you fairly judge a Catholic? Senator, I have a record of I think the answer would be yes. judging everyone. Yeah, I believe you can. <laughs> uh, this morning, uh, I'm going to announce my decision on Judge Jackson's nomination to Supreme Court, I will oppose her and I will vote no. Which is, this is a question best posed to Senator Lindsey Graham. What exactly has changed since he voted to support her uh, just recently, relatively recently? She has the exact same credentials, exact same qualifications. So no, I wouldn't say the president's spending a lot of time thinking about it, but I would say it's a good question to pose to Senator Graham. Count me in for more revenue. We're gonna need more revenue. But if you think taxing the wealthy is going to save Social Security, uh, you're wrong. If I may, Jim, that's not correct. We're not talking about raising. We're not. I'm no, sorry. Six point two percent on all income. Okay, so well, I ask her. She said twelve point four. Well, so, ask me. I'll ask my you. Bill. It's six point two. <laughs> you can be doing this for fifteen minutes, and all of a sudden, you are looking at. 30, 40, 50 years in prison. Good. Cut. Good. I understand. Absolutely Senator, good. I hope you are. To do. Good. Allow her to finish, please. I hope you go to jail for 50 years if you're on the internet trolling for images please. of children and sexual exploitation. So you don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a that horrible thing.